What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I really think you have to watch this video before 8.30 tomorrow. So I don't know when you're going to decide to watch it. If you watch it two days from now, then, I mean, you just, you just missed it. But you still understand where I'm coming from with the information in this video. Now, I have to get into it. It's about inflation. It's about the crypto market. And if you guys are invested in cryptocurrency, I can't really say the, the same for stocks, but we should have the same activity that is happening because a lot of the volume right now is driven off of institutions and what they're going to do versus what retail traders are doing because a lot of us, you know, either are still holding the bag or actually have, have invested at some of the lower points and saw those as opportunities and even see this point as an opportunity. But I wanted to go over the market with you guys and take you through why you should watch this video before 8.30 tomorrow morning. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. And if you want to check out some of the links in the descriptions uh, for um my different exchanges crypto exchanges weeble uh, coinbase crypto.com all of that you'll definitely be able to uh get signed up and get started on some of those platforms there but we're definitely in like um between a rock and a hard place right we have uh the market that's making a move today and it's all based off of i believe uh one big piece of information that we're waiting on pretty much every single month, right? We kind of wait on two things. Um, one would be CPI data. The other would be how interest rates, how they're going to move interest rates, whether they're going to hike them up or, you know, leave them the same. And how we've been seeing inflation for the past however many months, right? Nine months, eight months, we've been seeing things that have been decreasing consistently. We haven't had a single day or a single month to where uh, it has increased over the previous month. Maybe it hasn't beat um, the expected numbers, but we still would see it lower than the previous month, which was definitely a positive thing, definitely a selling point. Now, today is the 11th, and if you don't know, um, on the 12th, we are going to have uh, CPI data. So tomorrow morning, we'll be able to see this CPI data um, that, that comes across and gives us an understanding if we're going to see a decreased uh, inflation again. Now, I would guarantee that we're going to see something decrease. We're going to see a decrease because of the fact that we still did have that rate hike. Um, and where their expected numbers are, there's so much room in between previous month and expected that I would believe it's going to fall within there somewhere. Um, obviously I would like to see expected numbers or, um, you know, actual numbers be a lot lower than what expected is. And if it does, then the market is going to absolutely explode and people are going to be sorry if they are not in it at that time. Um, now with this information, we're going to go through, we're going to show you where the expected numbers are. We're also going to go through the crypto market and what it has done and what I can expect it to do based on some of that information. <clears throat> so on April 12th, Tomorrow, um, we're going to be able to see that information that comes across. Now, as far as inflation numbers from expected data, for March, the expected number is 5.2. Previous was 6. So you have 0.8% in between that you can see. So expect it to be uh, uh, less than the previous month. And again, as you've seen these last 8 months, 9 months, 9.1, uh, 8.5, uh, 8.3, 8.2, 7.7, 7.1, 6.5, 6.46. Now they're expected um, at um, <clears throat> 5.2. So if expected is 5.2, you know it's going to be less than the previous month, especially with the rate hike that they did have. So that's definitely something that I know is going to create positivity. But will it be extremely bullish by seeing it lower than expected? That's where people are like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Where, where are we going to go? Are we going to invest our money here? We got to buy this. We got to buy that. And that's why right now you're seeing the crypto market that's up about 4.25% up to a $1.24 trillion market cap, which has surpassed the level you know, of that $1.2 trillion where it was kind of hovering around there for a little bit. And Bitcoin is kind of the main driver of that. So people are, are looking at cryptocurrency and they're like, wait, hold up. Um, Let's let's backtrack, right? We have inflation data that expected numbers are coming back at six point or sorry, five point two. We have the previous at six six point zero. No matter what, you're gonna have positivity that comes out of it, right? It's going to be lower than um than previous month. 
But the question is, is it going to be lower than expected with a rate hike? Um, you know, and seeing things that are flowing in the right direction, we may see this drop a significant amount. And if they, and then we get to the end of the month and then you start to kind of question if they're going to, um, hike up rates again to get it back to normal, right? Cause that could be the, the main driver to April being an actual normal interest rate or actual normal, um, you know, CPI or, uh, in, uh inflation rate. And if it does get back to normal, well, then we're like, oh, here comes the bullish market. Here comes the bullish momentum. So a lot of people are investing into plays and they're investing into not like some of the smaller plays. They're investing into Bitcoin, Ethereum. You're seeing uh, some BNB that's getting invested into that's at $330-ish. Uh, um, you're seeing XRP, you're seeing Cardano that's getting some investments, right? Solana that's getting a bit of an investment, 15% up more than what Bitcoin is up. Um, but majority of that driver, as you see from the dominance, is Bitcoin, 47% uh, dominance as of right now. We were at 37%, 38% for Bitcoin, and we're currently sitting at um, 47%. Um, not saying that this is going to get any crazier when it comes to the percentage here, but you have a lot of maybe institutions and big money that's investing into safe plays, uh, plays that they think are the safest possible, which would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, the top cryptocurrencies, anything in the top 10, a lot of people will be investing into, but preferably they would invest in the top one. And that's why you're seeing 6% increase. That's why you're seeing, uh, you know, BTC that's up above $30,000. Um, and is it wise to invest into it at $30,000? I think you have a lot of room to grow because people are not going to get tired of Bitcoin, even though I don't believe it has a major use case. I think Ethereum has the bigger use case. Um, but people are not going to get tired of the thing that really started everything, right? It started the dream of becoming a crypto millionaire for a lot of people. It started that dream of a new form of currency, a new way to pay for things out there. And Bitcoin is that. So anyways, let me know what you're thinking about this. Am I right by saying that CPI data is driving everything? And if or when we do see CPI data uh, come out, Either way, it's going to be positive, right? It's going to have a positive spin to it because it's higher than previous. That's nine straight months. And then you also have the ability to have more bullish momentum by seeing it lower than expected. If it comes back at 5%, I, I pretty much, I have to guarantee that the market will skyrocket. If the market does not move and it's down to 5%, I, I don't know what I'm doing here because I feel like it definitely should. Um, I want to invest into it just with the thought of it coming back lower than expected. And, and then that puts us in the range for the next month being closer and closer to normal when it comes to inflation percentage. So let me know what you're thinking uh, down below. Is that the reason why? Uh, do you think that we're going to see any type of uh, skyrocketing or do you think it's going to be kind of um, push to the side for what's going to happen maybe with some interest rate hikes again, because I mean, it may end up happening again. It, a lot of people may call for it not to happen, but it may end up happening again because we are still not in a, a normal, we're in a normal pattern, but we're not at a normal state in inflation percentage. So guys hit that um, notification bell, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, also, if you guys want to check out some of the links down below, definitely check out those links. You can check out my Patreon, my Twitter, all of those things that are there, anything. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.